So last year, Ghana had the year of return and a lot of people visited Ghana during that time period. And Ghana made a lot of money off of the year of return. They made from what they were estimating $1.3 billion um, with the year of return. I'm not mad about it at all. Black people supporting black nations don't have an issue with that. Cause black folks go everywhere else and support everyone else's nation. What's wrong with them going to the continent? And because Ghana has done this, other nations want to follow suit. So with that, they created a new initiative called beyond the return. And when they created that, they came out with something else. So the finance minister, Ken Oforo, he announced the establishment of the African Sankofa savings account. It is a diasporan investment and savings fund to provide investment opportunities for the diaspora community worldwide. So if you want to get involved in investing in Ghana, now they have created a way for you to do so. But check this out because some of you that like to tell me, well, Phil, we don't have no money. We don't do this. We don't do that. You know, and that's a totally different conversation. But it said that at a press briefing in Accra, it said the minister explained the fund will accommodate both high and low income earners and also middle grade income earners who want to invest in their homeland, adding there will be another source of revenue for the country. It said these would be investing in tourism infrastructure, agriculture value addition, real estate, uh, music culture, retirement homes, etc. So as anything with investments, you know, you look at, you always do your research on any kind of investment, no matter if it's the stock market right here in America, mutual funds, if you're doing Forex, whatever it may be, you always do your research. You don't just throw your money into something off of emotion. Now he said the fund has the potential to raise about $3 billion within a year or two and year results that may be beyond the traditional exports are earning currently. Now there's other countries that's investing into all these African nations, like all the uh, Western nations, you got uh, China, uh, you have a bunch of nations investing in the continent. So they're trying to give you a way to invest in Ghana. So they say the Ministry of Finance, the Bank of Ghana, Ghana Investment Promotion Center are collaborating and working on the model T's, which will soon be made public. Now say the Minister of Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts, Barbara Otin Gayasi lauded the project saying one of the seven pillars they have adopted in Beyond the Return was to create investment opportunities for the diasporans and establishment of a Sankofa fund is going in the right direction. So they said during the year of return, it's campaigns that we always engage our visiting global family on opportunities for investment in Ghana and this account will give them the opportunity to do that. So they also came and said that the private sector also should refrain from necessarily increasing prices of their goods and services which has potentially pushing tourists away to other destinations. And so we're going to talk about that. There's some Africans uh, from diaspora who lived in Ghana a number of years ago at the event, lauded uh, the government for the initiative. They said they were in support of the government initiative that would bring more diaspora investors and visitors back home. Now, there were reports that vendors were raising prices during the events of the year of return. And many people were saying that's wrong. Why are they doing this? Well, I believe personally it's wrong to raise prices, period. Now, let me talk about something for you. Try to say, you see what they do every time on the weekend, hotels and restaurant, well, sometimes restaurants too, at certain events, Uber, etc. raise prices on events. They've done it many times before. I've been told Uber will charge someone $80 to bring them uh, from the far parking lot at Dallas, you know, football stadium to the door, charge them $80 for a ride because so many people rather ride Uber. That's what they do. Hotels every weekend or certain events raise the prices. You can go to any hotel right now on the weekend. They raise prices. Now, Monday and Tuesday, the price may be a hundred dollars, but the weekend it may be $200 if it's certain events or more. So raising other prices to me, if it's a hundred dollars on Monday, it should be a hundred dollars on Saturday. Why the prices is going up? There's no justification of that, but people raise prices right here in the United States and they raise it right here. I mean, and even raising it in Ghana. Now they are addressing it. They say you shouldn't be raising prices, but if you think something is too high, you don't have to buy it. Say, so I ain't buying that crap. I know what it's worth. 
I'm not buying it. That's just that simple. Don't buy it. But let me talk to my Ghanaian brothers and sisters real quick. Now I, I produced a podcast last week called coming home means citizenship with a year of return. And it's great that you guys are given an opportunity for the diaspora to start investing. Now let's get to the next initiative. The next initiative needs to be the creation of a pathway to citizenship. You can't say come back home. I'm talking about all African nations, not just Ghana. You can't say come back home diaspora. We need you here and you're not having a path to citizenship. When you tell someone to come back home, that means come home to stay, not come home to visit and say, Oh yeah, I'm here. And then you go back. No, I know all of this is new. This is why I'm not like railing about it right now, but we are kind of past the phase just a little bit where a lot of black people are going. At one point in time, black folks wasn't going to the continent like this. Not like they are now, but now more and more people are going to the continent. Last year, 30 people came with us to the continent, to Kenya. They've never seen that many black Americans at one time show up in Kenya. And they was excited to see that. And they was happy. So that's new. Now, especially if anyone should lead the charge on the citizenship, it should be Ghana because more people came to Ghana. I would, I would say Ghana has to be the number one to start this. Because if you're saying come home, you got to have citizenship. And Ghana, you're one of the nations that allow dual citizenship. So it's not that American people have to give up their citizenship to become a Ghanaian citizen. Because as a lot of you guys, constitutions are written, you have to wait for a long time to become a citizen. And people don't want to wait a long time to become a citizen. No. I mean, of course, you got to check people's background. I get that. You don't want to allow no criminals into the country. You want to make sure people are self-sufficient. I agree with that. You don't want a problem child coming in, but if they check out in all those ways, you guys need to have a pathway to citizenship and not to say you're not discussing that. I'm not accusing you of not discussing it. I'm just saying to not just Ghana, but all the continent, you want us to come home, create a pathway to citizenship. Listen, my, if it were me, I would say less. Once you check out, then let's give you a residency for five years. You do good in the country. You, you, you do what's right. Of course, after five years, you could become a citizen. I think that would be a great way, but would I say residency, it'd be like a permanent residency. It's not like it expires, but, but that residency is supposed to convert to citizenship after five years. As long as you don't do anything to get your residency revoked. I think people in the diaspora would love that they could come to the continent. They know they don't have to worry about no visa. They can invest. Because you cannot sometimes invest in a place that you have no stake. Now I know a lot of African nations, if you create a business, you can get a residency. Yes. Yeah, South Africa is like that. Um, I know in certain ways, Kenya is like that. If you create a business, I know Rwanda, I think it's another country is like that. If you establish some sort of business there, then you can, um, get in. If you invest, I know in Kenya, a hundred thousand dollars, you can get a citizenship. But not everyone has a hundred thousand dollars and not everyone's going to create a business. Even though we here would say to always create a business in the continent. Don't go over there talking about you looking for a job, go there to create a business, whatever you're doing here, create a business over there. It'll be much better for you. And also, you know, when we talk about this, your Africa plan, it doesn't mean you got to just uproot your life in America and just go there. And that's the end of it. No. You have to make those decisions with logic, not emotion. Emotional people just up and root their lives and just do something. It takes time to do that. You got to set things in order. You got to make sure that, Hey, am I on point when I go to the continent? Because you don't have no safety nets. You don't have no welfare and food stamps. You can go look for if you get in trouble. You have no housing to go look for if you get in trouble. So you want to make sure you dot your I's and cross your T's when you're there. Is it a lot of opportunity? Yes. It's a lot of opportunity on the continent, but Gotta make sure things are done right. I believe good, most of us would have family here. So you're never going to completely turn away from America and don't never come back. No, that's not going to happen. You're going to go back and forth. That's what I tell people. You go back and forth. You go see family, friends. Sometimes you may have to come to America and get certain uh, items because certain items here are more plentiful and cheaper. 
and need to bring it back there. Cause if you get it over there, it's going to be astronomical. So you're never going to walk away from America. That's why I always say never give up that blue passport, no matter what, don't give it up. Don't get in your emotions where like, Oh, America, look, listen, and go to America, get what you need, visit your family and friends, and then carry yourself right back. That's what you want to do. Cause you go, it's, it's still an advantage in this world to be an American. It is. And when, even if you're a black American, they'll say, Oh, you're American. You're going to feel actually respected. Now in this country, you may not feel respected, but outside this nation, you will feel respected in many ways. So we're glad about the investment. That is great. That's awesome. But the next step is the pathway to citizenship or coming home. is not really what it is. And you know, I love the, my people. I love them to death. I love being over there, but I'm going to have to say what's right because we don't want nobody to feel like, well, they don't want us for tourism, but they don't want us to actually be there with them. You know, we don't want to wait all that time to become a citizen. We want our citizenship in a short amount of time. And I feel that that's why we are conveying this message. Definitely in love. Of course, there's no hate at all, but having people come back home will be a great addition. Now I understand, you know, I would want certain things from America or any Western nations to go into the continent. Please don't allow that. But you know, that's things we got to iron out with time. Well, leave me a comment. Let me know thing about the situation with uh, Ghana creating the African Sankofa savings account. I think that's good for those who want to invest on a continent. I like to invest. I'm definitely interested in that as well. And with that being said, I know a lot of you who are working on your Africa plan. And I know some of you probably just got your passport. I know some of you have told me that some of you have, you know, submitted your application and paid your funds to get your passport. So you're waiting on it. And we have those three trips letting you know that's coming up right now in May, we have Senegal and Gambia. You want to make sure you jump on that one. That's a $500 deposit. The link will be below in the description box and the pinned comment as well. Definitely the pinned comment. Check that out. That's where all the links are at. And then we have South Africa coming up in September. If you'd like to go to South Africa. Now I do know this is only five spots left in South Africa. So if you want to go to South Africa, you better jump on it. It's only five left. That's it. So it's almost gone. And then we have Kenya once again, 12 days in, in Kenya. You're going to really love that. Enjoy yourself all inclusive. And we have, you know, we just got started with that one. So we have 28 spots left as of right now, two spots have been, uh, taken. So we need you guys to want to go. Don't think about it. Jump on it because by the time you say, ah, well, I'll do it later and I'll, I'll get it. Listen, this is income tax time coming up. Let uncle Sam take you on your first, your second step of your Africa plan. You don't have to use your money or if you're going to use some of it, let uncle Sam pay for the majority of it and enjoy yourself on an all inclusive vacation to get connected with the motherland. Bring your wife, bring your husband. You can bring your kids. That's what people done last year. I've seen husband and wives. I've seen moms and sons. I've seen all kinds of people there just to try to enjoy themselves on this trip. And I know you really enjoy yourself because the people last year enjoyed themselves. So make sure you go to the links in the pinned comment below and jump on those trips, especially South Africa. That's about to be wrapped up. So five spots. So, you know, y'all better get it. That's at least two couples and one single person, possibly all person can buy all five, whatever they want to do. But until you pay a deposit, it's not taken away. Uh, with South Africa, it's the same thing. You click the link, say you're from African diaspora news channel. You just need information. You want to pay a deposit, but Ghana and the rest of the continent, we're going to wrap this up and say this, we love coming home. Love it. I love it. Love it to death, but we got to have a pathway to citizenship going forward.